Hi Drew, this video is for you. Uh, we're going to show you how to get out your LTO3 tape drive from a Dell 114 uh, rack mount. These two screws here on each side will allow you to push the entire top forward about one inch. Once it's forward about one inch, you can lift the top off like this. Now remember when you're going to put this back, these little tabs have to slide into the back. So the way you took it off, having it about an inch in front, pushing it back, put the screws back in, is the way you're going to put the uh, cover back on. Okay, so we have the cover off. It's relatively simple. Um, what to do? There is some some complexities here. What we have on here are two screws that go into the side on the bottom, and they hold the drive in place. These two screws, thumb screws, need to be removed. You can either use a Phillips head or a flat bladed screwdriver, either will work. Once that's done, you can slide this drive assembly out and it comes up like so. Probably the easiest way to describe it is if you look at these slots on the side here, you'll see it goes down here and then it slides back. So once you have the drive out, you will then need to take the connectors off the back. Now as I twisted this around, this SCSI connector came off the back of it. You will see this SCSI connector is narrow on the bottom and wide on the top. What you're going to have to do with this is make sure that the narrow is on the bottom and the wide's on the top. It won't fit in there any other way than that. The next most important thing to look at is the SCSI IDs. And what these IDs are, they allow you to set the SCSI address with the little switch in the back. Now, this just pulls out right here, unplugs. And if you don't remember how to put it back in, um, it goes in the closest eight pins that you can put in, and they're right next to the power cord. So in other words, these guys plug in right here, right next to the power cord. Now to get the power cord off, what I don't want you to do is to pick it up and pull it up and down. That's not the way to get a power cord off. You need to grab it and pressure to the left and pressure to the right. Okay, it comes out kind of tough, but you'll get it out. If you pull up on this connector, you have a tendency to break this off and the drive is not happy. So when you're inserting and taking this power cable on and off, again, push it in on the sides, take it off on the sides by rocking it back and forth, okay? Not too difficult. Now don't get confused by other cables that are in here. Um, there are some cables that are are hooked together for different applications. Uh, so what we will want to do is to see that this cable is labeled LTO1, LTO2, and this cable is probably for a DAT drive, okay? So even if you want to take a little video picture and see what this cable is that's on here that you're going to put back on before you take it off, probably be a good idea to do that. You might want to do, you know, let's say you have a, a magic marker or something like that. Just put a little mark on the cable so you know that that's the one you took off so you can put it back in. Okay, so that's how you take it out. You go just the opposite to put it back in. So what I did, we took your drive out of this side and I'm working on a drive on this side. Now if your drive is on the left side, the right side looking from the front, you're going to be good to go with these particular screws that are on there, okay? Because these screws go down in the side. But if you try to put it on this side, it's not going to work. So what you have to do is take these two screws out here and put them on the other side. And the simplest way to remember that is that whatever uh, side you're putting it in, left side or the right side, towards the outside of the case, 
that's where you have to have these screws. Okay, and again, these screws allow it um, to go down in these channels. Okay, so even though I took the drive out on the left side, just for the hang of it, I'm gonna put it in on the right side. Okay, so again, SCSI orientation. You got a lot of room here, so you can mess with that. Skinny part of it on the bottom, fat part on the top, goes in there. Your SCSI ID cable that you took off uh, can go only in one way, and it goes in closest to the power cable. That's where you get your little camera, I'll take the picture before you do it. And then when you put the power cable on, you'll again want to push it on, and you know, part of the power cable, it's got a little indents on the bottom, so it only can go in one way. These indents go into the top. Push that on here, and then wiggle it back and forth, push it in. And tuck those cables away. Now I'm putting the drive in on the opposite side. I took it out because I switched the, the little uh, screws on there. And uh, goes in here, slides down. Slides down. <laughs> Make sure there's nothing in the way. Oh, yeah, Rich pointed out. I put the screw in the bottom hole and it needs to be in the top hole. Thanks, Rich. Appreciate yeah. <laughs> that. Two screws. Make sure that you got. You can put two in the top, and that's where they need to be. <laughs> two in the top. Then they'll slide in. Should be happy camper. And these go in kind of tight for a couple reasons. They've got a little RF shielding on them. You kind of push that in there and you see it's kind of in tight. Then you'll want to take these other screws that you took off, screw them in the side of the drive. And all that does is just kind of holds it in place. So we're done uh, with that. Just review, uh, placing the cover on one more time. And you might want to just, you know, make sure these cables aren't touching anything kind of sitting in the good fashion. I notice this cable over here has got this little connector on it. It could get in the fan over here, okay? And then fan wouldn't turn, nothing would be happy. So what you want to make sure is these cables are just sitting out here away from these fans that are on there. That should be fine. And then again, about an inch forward, pushing it back, tightening these two screws in here. That's about it. Any questions, feel, feel, feel free to give me a buzz. My name is Dan, and I can help you with that tomorrow. Thank you.